Why don't you start by telling us where this idea initially came from and what your inspiration was behind it? The Royal West was really born 30 years ago, although it was subconscious in my mind at the time. Um, I made my open jumper debut uh, in 1984, about 30 years ago, uh, down at the Calgary Stampede Corral at the, uh, at the time, it was called the uh, Calgary Spring International Horse Show. And I can just remember how much fun it was, how vibrant it was, how exciting it was to you know, be at a horse show in, uh, you know, right down in the city. And, uh, you know, I always, over the years, I kind of thought, wow, if I ever had the chance to do something like that, let's do it. There's something special about the indoor tournaments. Uh, they're, just, they're just more exciting. It's more focused. You don't have nine rings going at the same time. So everybody's kind of focused on that particular moment. Okay, so for those that don't know, why don't you describe the facility a little bit to us? Why is it so perfect for this? I don't know uh, all the details about the facility uh, as of yet. I know the generals. I mean, the arena is going to be a 2,500 seat arena, okay? Uh, it's going to be 125 feet wide by 250 feet long. That'll be the largest of its kind in all of Canada. Uh, if you look in the background here, uh, our ring is about 90 feet wide, so you split that in half and add it on. I mean, that's really, really wide, okay? Uh, and the warm-up hall is going to be the same size as this ring behind us. It's about 100 by 200, so horses will have a great opportunity to warm up, you know, all the riders competing, and then you'll be able to walk into a, quite a substantial ring, and again, with 2,500 seats, it should be easy to sell out some crowds. Mm -hmm. And why don't you talk about what you want the show to be? What is it going to be like? Well, the, the name the Royal West, okay, uh, it was something that we felt, you know, if we called it that, people would understand what it is. I mean, there's the Royal Winter Fair in Ontario, there's the Royal Manitoba Winter Fair in Manitoba, in Brandon, and then we figured, what the heck, call it the Royal West. Uh, everybody talks about the Royal Winter Fair every year, but how many people from the West actually travel? Wouldn't it be nice to have something of their own? I'd like the Royal West to be a, uh, 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 a tournament that people qualify, sort of a year-end finale, right? We will have all your children's hunters and pony hunters and junior hunters and amateur hunters and then all the relevant jumper divisions. But what we're looking most forward to is uh, the evenings. Because 6 o'clock till 10.30, you're going to be putting on a show. All right? And you want people to buy tickets. So you better entertain them. So, you know, uh, a typical evening might be opening ceremonies. Uh, then we'll host that. One of the small classes, uh, let some of the junior and amateur riders ride in front of a crowd, okay, and then tear down the course, and then let's have some terrier racing, okay, let's have some uh, uh, indoor gunfighting, let's have some barrel racing, let's get the RCMP musical ride if we can, um, let's get some indoor eventing. How about the heavy horses, some hackneys, okay? All kinds of those fun activities to, you know, to entertain the crowd, okay? Showcase the horse and all of the different facets. And then, of course, in the, uh, at the end of the night, have a feature event, uh, you know, one of the open jumper competitions. Okay, so we know the facility has a 2014 completion date. So when are your proposed dates for the first show? We want to... Uh, launched the first Royal West in October of 2014. We uh, we didn't want to go into November because that's the Royal Winter Fair, okay, and that would be just silly. Uh, we want to, you know, potentially team up with the Royal Winter Fair. You know, have a sister city thing. You know, Toronto and Calgary. I mean, it would be great. So we're going to do uh, the Royal West at the end of October. Uh, that will allow people who would like to potentially do both indoor tournaments the opportunity. Uh, you know, traveling is becoming easier and easier for horses uh, these days. And, um, you know, we will end up finishing on the Saturday. And uh, the Royal Winter Fair will start in Toronto on the following Friday. So you have a nice bit of travel time should people want to go and do uh, uh, both events. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned needing to qualify for this event. How do you see the qualification process going? What will the qualifying events be? We are uh, um, 
working on that as we speak. So what we'd like to do to qualify for the Royal West is allow qualifying from venue, uh, venues all across Canada. You know, there will be a heavy tilt towards Alberta competitors because it's an Alberta hosted event. Much like in Toronto, you know, the Royal Winter Fair, there's more people from Ontario competing there than they invite others from other parts of the country. We see that uh, doing the same thing. We'd also, for each particular division, I'd like to have a few, uh, um, you know, wild card spots. You know, taking that idea from one of the great tournament managers in the United States, Tom Straziri. You know, he allows a few wild card spots so he can attract some of the bigger name riders. So, do you foresee any problems raising sufficient prize money to really attract the major competitors and host that international event? Prize money is key these days. Uh, you know, competitors, especially uh, the international type competitors, showing in the bigger competitions. You know, they really want to compete for you know a, for good purses. Uh, the sport's expensive, and you know it's nice to be able to uh, um, earn a little bit of your keep back, if you will. Uh, show jumping has grown in popularity so much so in Canada that uh, I don't see it being uh, incredibly difficult. It's still difficult. It's always difficult to raise money, you know. Uh, but we think being able to do something like this in downtown Calgary, uh, you know, one of the most vibrant cities in the country, uh, and the popularity of show jumping, uh, we think it should be, uh, you know, a difficult task still, but we think we'll be able to pull the job off for sure. Taking you guys to Stampede Park, are you going to integrate the Western flair of the venue? I've always enjoyed the fact when we go to tournaments, big tournaments, big indoor tournaments, and especially the ones in the past, everybody always dressed up. You know, they put their gowns and their, their tuxedos and things on. We want the flavor to be Western. So we're going to have a little bit of a mandate. It's Western formal. Wear your tuxedo top with your blue jeans and your cowboy boots, okay? Let the ladies get decked up in uh, uh, some nice Western outfits, right? We're going to have some fun with it for sure. <laughs> what do you see this doing for the sport of show jumping in Canada? Well, show jumping in Canada and around the world has really taken off in popularity over the years. Um, competitors have so many different choices of where they uh, where they compete and uh, uh, what venues they take their horses to. Um, we think this is going to be a valued addition uh, to the show jumping calendar here in Canada and North America as there's not as many indoor tournaments to compete at as there are in other parts of the world. Really in Canada, a major indoor competition takes place at the Royal Winter Fair and that's it. Okay? You have some, a few sporadic venues across the country uh, that host smaller indoor competitions, but nothing really on an international scale. And uh, we think this is really going to add a lot to the calendar here in Canada. Mm -hmm. So Rocky Mountain Show Jumping is known for being very innovative in the sport of show jumping. So what sort of things go through your mind when coming out with something this big? Really, uh, we have a mandate in Rocky Mountain Show Jumping. Yes, we do like to come up with all kinds of neat ideas, okay? We, like we say, you throw it up against the wall, see if it sticks. Uh, some of our ideas stick and some don't. I mean, that's just part of, part of life. But we have a real, our most important mandate is it has to be good for Rocky Mountain Show Jumping, but it has to also be good for the sport. If it's just good for one of those and not the other, we won't do it. I mean, again, we are running a business, so it has to be good for us, right? But, uh, like I said, if it's something that's completely out of left field and not beneficial to the sport, we won't do it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we take a lot of pride in that, and uh, we hope the Royal West will showcase all of the efforts that we uh, put into our sport of show jumping. Mm -hmm. So, I, for one, am very excited to see your opening night. What are some things that we can look forward to? Well, I can't give everything away. But uh, we'd for sure like to make sure that opening night is something really special, okay? This is something for the whole sport to celebrate in. And uh, we, we want to make sure that uh, opening night is tremendously special. We plan to have all kinds of little Facebook contests and things like that. 
uh, uh, you know, get your get your reserve your tickets for for opening night. You know, uh, have all kinds of draws and things like that. Um, you know, to get everybody really excited. Okay. Uh, Trust me, the opening night's just kind of a cloudy blur here right now with a lot of ideas that have to get put on the paper. But I can promise you something, it'll be special, special for everyone.